Now here's some local labs. Are you there? This is a church we saw before. It's Episcopal Church north of, uh, it's north of LBJ on Hillcrest and Spring Valley Northwest Corner. This is an indoor labyrinth, beautiful. A couple little problems. When we walk this on a Saturday, people come in here from the parking lot and they'll come through. It's not the end of the world, but they come through so you're not totally there by yourself. The friends that I had, they went into the church and they stayed there for an hour because of the peacefulness of the church. It was just beautiful, nice, and quiet in there. So we had a good experience starting here and walking it. Here's our six pedals again. Here's our many switchbacks we have again. This is a Chartres one they call from France. That's that standard format. We, we walked in here when it rained one time and beautiful, peaceful, but there's sometimes people coming and going. <laughs> This is uh, the Episcopal Church of St. Thomas. You go in the tollway, you go to Mockingbird West, you find Inwood on the northwest corner of Inwood and Mockingbird is this church. This is in the back part of their kitchen on the floor. They actually have a brochure to promote their labyrinth because they like people walking it. The channels are kind of, you know, narrow. Here's your six petal rose again. This is very comfortable. It's inside, but they have it locked down because I don't know, they have people in the neighborhood might be coming in or whatever. But it was very enjoyable. This also, again, is in Dallas. This is the Northway Christian Church. You get down 75, go west on Northwest Highway. As you go west, you go past, uh, uh, what is it, North, North Park, then the Hillcrest uh, uh, Cemetery, and diagonally across is this church. You come around the back roads, and there's a big parking lot, and up in the northwest corner is basically a six-car garage. And they decided they wanted to use this for a labyrinth, and you can see it on the floor. The day I was in there, they had chairs and they were doing various uh, things inside there. But again, it's another indoor labyrinth. Here's your roses again. This is the one we have problems with, with the finger labyrinth. This is Richland College. You go north of LBJ on uh, Greenville, go up to Walnut. It's on the southeast quadrant. As you come in this north entrance and you're going south, there'll be a pond on the side over there. Beautiful. The labyrinth will be down here in the corner. There's big trees and... Uh, this is an old one. The ground here is very hard and they have pipes back here and sometimes you trip over them and then they got these crazy kids coming there going to school wondering what we're doing out there with our strange gear. Beautiful place. Now the problem with this is, see this is a finger labyrinth and it's about five feet, about four and a half feet tall out there before you come into it but it's very rough. So if you put your finger in there you're going to rip it up so it's very uncomfortable to do it. It's a nice touch but it's just not practical for a smooth sailing. This is Children's Medical Center downtown Harry Hines east of uh, Parkland. Beautiful one, no maintenance. Uh, you park, if you remember Children's Hospital, you park down there in a building, but uh, some of those people have TSA on their mind. So you come in, they think you're bringing a bowl in there, so they want to check you out and put your finger and all that. Then you walk downstairs, go to the cafeteria, and when the people come out of the cafeteria, they sit here in the trees. Beautiful place. There's traffic here between Parkland and this one here. So it's nice and a lot of people sit here. Now kind of a funny comment. You know what I'm doing up here now is one of the toughest things to do supposedly. Some people say it's tougher to speak in front of people than it is to die. But that's your choice. So if you're walking out here and you've got a bunch of nurses and doctors checking you out. You know are you comfortable with that or not. But it's a beautiful place and it's a nice addition to the hospital. Here we go. St. Perkins School of Theology at SMU, nice little labyrinth. Uh, you come down uh, 75 to uh, Mockingbird West, you turn north on Bishop. As you do that, you have the, uh, the football field here, the museum here, that crazy water thing here. Bishop is north-south, halfway up you turn left and there's the Perkins School of Theology. This is right between them and you know, I had one guy laying here doing his uh, texting. We're trying to walk the labyrinth. Notice this one here, somebody is from Perkins, but they forgot the other rose petal. Mm -hmm. So we're gonna tell them about that. Very nice, what the heck is this? Oh, that's it. This one's very nice, it's very simple, and the uh, channels here are not too bad. The, the uh, uh, switchbacks are pretty good. So this is a nice one, but it's in the School of Theology, an, an important one down there in Dallas. This one you're not gonna find unless you do Google Maps. This is a Catholic church, 75 east on Spring Valley to Jupiter going north, and it's on the northwest corner of Jupiter and Spring Valley, east of 75. This is a church right here, 
and you never know that. Now the Catholics, they're still in the cash flow. So this is what's called a calabrium, I think. It's a European thing, which basically you put the ashes of your loved one. So I guess if you're on the inside and up higher, a little bit more expensive. Now this is unique because the grass is very easy to do. But see, here you're coming into this thing not knowing what to expect. Now I came over here on this side on the parking lot to come in. And when you came in here, all of a sudden you hear the angelic voices. And I'm looking up at the buildings. Where is this coming from? Well, you know, after a while, they have two little speakers, one over here and one here. And they just activate the, the speakers. And so you hear this angelic voice. But you have all these family members coming in because they want to talk to their relatives, you know, up there on the wall. So you can see it on Google Maps, but if you didn't know what's there, you know, if you didn't wear this, you wouldn't know. University Park United Methodist Church, uh, Tollway to Northwest Highway East to Preston South, six blocks to uh, Ruth Boulevard, and there's a little place called Smith uh, uh, Park. Now, they told me before I'm coming, even though they're in University Park, a wealthy area, that their labyrinth wasn't maintained. So we walked in, it's beautiful, this is the main church, this is where all the buildings are at, all the kids are playing here, a lot of kids are playing across the street, it's a beautiful area. But when you walk into this place, underneath all these uh, stones, there's these pipes coming up. And so we're staggering like a bunch of drunken sailors in there trying to figure out the path. So it's a nice place, but they need to maintain it. And there's, there's no maintenance to do except to get the pipe straight. This is a little uh, church uh, uh, bush to uh, uh, Josie and up to Peter's Colony. There's uh, the pond over here, there's Peter's Colony, there's a church, and it's right over here. Very small labyrinth. When we walk them in the summer, the problem is we have to get out there at 8.30 because by 9.30, the women have a glow about them, but we men are sweating. And so in the summer, it gets pretty hot pretty fast. So we have some shade here. We have a, a, a place to sit down. It's very small, but it's nice and very friendly. Not too many people know about that or walk it. Now, this is in McKinney. You go up on uh, 75 north of 121 on the east side, just north of El Dorado, there's a big wooded area. You go down over the wooded area, there's a pond, there's a theater, and there's McKinney High School. And so somebody took the time to really do some nice brickwork. The problem is you're, you're stranded in the jungle, and when it rains, you have water all through here. It's a little tough to get to. You have the road noise from 75, but somebody took the time to build this in the woods up there, so it's a nice walk. A friend of mine, he likes to play a flute when he goes out there, and so you get all kinds of experiences whenever. Now, I have a sheet of paper up here that tells you all the labyrinth locations in Dallas. Also, I, these are the ones we go into if it rains. These are the ones I haven't checked. I know everybody's been in Addison, but there's some wealthy people there, and somebody in Celestial Park, if you know where that is. They have, a, they have a sundial up there, and if you stand two people on each side of it, you have an echo effect. And I was up here doing a meditation one night, somebody's trying to get married, what's up with that? <laughs> and then this one here, Pagan Park as I call it, it's Tollway to Keller Springs in North on Quorum Park. Uh, this guy's uh, mother was a pagan, she was like a white witch. So he made this park for her and did a beautiful job. These are not labyrinths, but we made it that when we walked it. I have pictures on one of my phones here that shows what they did with the fountains coming up and the sunken fountains. Just a beautiful place in Addison. So I have these. And notice down here, if you can see this, this is a labyrinth locator. So you can go any place in the United States, if you're traveling, put in your city, and it'll tell you if there's any labyrinths in there, you can walk if you have the time. What's that? I think Phil's been doing his uh, work on the supercomputer. <laughs> I think there's a couple. Yes? Yeah, I know there's one at the fourth unit. Fourth unit church? Yeah. Yeah. Can you hear me back? Uh, there's one at St. Stephen's in the TCU area, and the fourth unit does have one, and I wasn't prepared to have others at the others. My buddy Phil. <laughs> Phil? Yes? Yeah, I'll explain that in a minute. It's okay. basically one path that goes in, and uh, I have a I have a lady that walks with us. She's even more colorful than I am, and she'll stand there. Like I don't know whether you remember the Karate Kid. If you remember when he did the crane at the end, well, she stands in the we stand in the four positions. You know, uh, east, south, west, or north, and she'll turn around or she'll stand there. Sometimes she's wearing jewelry as, as other people do, 
So you're in the moment. There's nothing you have to do other than just walk a path. You walk slowly in, you come to the center, you relax, you're open. When we did it with big groups, we'd, we'd expand and we'd invite all the people in that we know that are sick. Uh, we'd invite the angels in, all kinds of things. And then after that, we'd come back together again and we'd report what we saw, felt, or hurt. And then whoever wanted to would start walking out to come walking into their future experience. There's no rush walk at all. That's why I put the little girl on the um, springboard there because some people want to move. And when you have a four foot wide channel, you can pass them pretty easy. And I, if you've, anybody's ever ridden in White Rock Lake on the bike trails, I used to, that, that was back in 1942, but I used to, you know, you say passing on the left because you can, you know, sometimes people want to go pretty fast, sometimes want to go slow because they're enjoying nature. 